Right. Hello. And welcome back. Um, yeah, I don't normally do this, but um, I... Hi, I'm Gordon, and uh, this is my channel. And normally I do music. I'm a composer and a trumpet player, and uh, the last stream I did uh, last week was a jazz trumpet kind of thing. And I normally do, or, you know, work on music compositions. And uh, but when I'm not doing that, when I need to recharge the old batteries, I I game. And here is the third session of this character that I'm kind of RPing casually called uh, Rain. And R A N E. And he's a kind of cleric, cleric like. He's not really a cleric. He's not a holy restorative magic guy. He's, he's got a backstory. And um, if anyone comes on and wants the backstory, I'll give it to you. I have a screen for that. So. Anyway, we'll just carry forth. It's been a few, uh, about three months since I've I last had rain going, so um, we I had to kind of go back to the last video and see what was going on, and so I think I'm okay. So the last time rain was uh, laying waste to this uh, lunar forge thing, and uh, it was quite the battle. So. It's night now, so he's gonna try to find where to sleep, a rest, or something. Cleaned up these guys. Okay, got some stuff. Oh, didn't see this before. And he's overloaded. Okay, maybe he has a backpack. He does. Oh, and he's wearing it. <laughs> That's out. Maybe he's got some. Okay firewood's too heavy yeah are we good we're good right so what is he doing what is what are his quests for? okay we're collecting a bounty so we're heading back to white run which is there in the distance I don't know if he's quite far enough away to set up camp. We'll see. Yes. Hello, dear. I'm home. Right, I'm using green screen. If you noticed the change, got, got some green screen going on. I made it out of really cheap material uh, from the art supply store. It's really kind of just, um, you know, something you might find in a craft box at a at your local kindergarten. That I just kind of tape them or uh, pin them together and put them on a curtain rack attach it to my ceiling and green screen it works all right sometimes it doesn't but it, it seems to be all right the cheap thing it probably cost 15 bucks total not bad it was fun to make Need to unload some stuff. Knock, knock. Remember me, guys? He's here, and no one's using it. He's gonna use the smelter. Give me smelter. We've got lots of ore. Okay, the arrows, silver ore. There we go. It's full. 
can make some steel. That's good. And corundum. If I'm pronouncing that right, I think I am. Corundum. Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. You don't what say. You say? V vampires? That is right up Rain's alley. And he would definitely say, Killing vampires? Where do I sign up? Ha! Ezron's going to like you. Hm. Go talk to him at Fort Dawn Guard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawn Guard material. Hmm. Buddy, in the end, I'll be deciding if you're Dawn Guard material. Because that is right up Rain's alley. He's got a big hatred for father? vampires and He's the a like. Up at Reach. So, yeah, we're definitely going to check that out. The Dawn Guard. Oh. You heard that? The old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. <laughs> Word travels fast. Time to get some shut eye. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything or take a seat by the Done. Take off the shield helmet. Fire and I yeah. send someone over. All right. Actually, I need a room. Well, my friend, how can I help you? Why don't I sell this firewood? Just honest gold for honest work. It's easy to chop more. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. Great. Vacancies. The water. Of course. Oh, you talk to me. Rumors? Ah. Okay. Because of this mod, um, the, the, I think it's the kind of, what is it called? Uh, shoot. It's where you can choose your own start. I did this. So the Helgen, the main storyline is doesn't come to you in the same way it normally does in the vanilla game, so... And apparently the the voiceover doesn't work for that, so she's telling me you should go check out Helgen for the so I dragon might be. So I have the dragon stone, but I don't know about there being dragons. I don't know about the dragons coming back, but I do have the dragon stone. Well, that's where I but Rain doesn't know what it's about. So. Nobody's really mentioned dragons yet before now. Yeah, Hulda. What's the hold up, Hulda? Okay. Hey, what are you doing in my room? Out. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Yeah, could you shut the door on your way out? Okay, I'll do it myself. It's a nice, we got the little balcony here. Oversee the drunk people. Yep, yeah, hey. Sit. That's pretty cool. It's like the presidential suite. All right, let's sleep. Eight hours, seven hours. <clears throat> All right, a bit hungry, a bit thirsty. Let's get some cabbage stew in the morning. Maybe a carrot and an apple. That's good. That's a good round, rounded meal. It's healthy. And some water. Good. Oh. 
right. Okay. What time is it? 5.25 a.m. You can bet these, these guys have been here all night. The security in White Run is terrible. Shameful is what it is. Complaining about the security. That's that what you've been doing all night? This is an ode to Skyrim's Sidmir. staunch protectors, the Imperials. We drink to our you should join the guard then. The days come and gone, for the oh. age of aggression is just a little early for a drink, don't you think? We'll drive out the storm Figured. and restore what we Excuse me. Early. It's an early start. Okay, you're right. We need to turn in. Turn in the bounty that we did three months ago. If you need portions, you should try Arcadia's call. You walked among us, great towers. Not. Okay, this is a little meta, but I'm gonna see if I have any diseases or anything. Oh, okay. It... I'm off it. But as man! But you were once man. I am as man who said, Let me show you the power of Gala Storm Crown. Wow, he's got a lot of energy for this time of the morning. You're like me, eh? Don't fancy those clunky two handed weapons. Too early. Hey, man. Oh, okay. I've never seen this guy. He's a mod, obviously. He's from a mod. The Fendrix Magic mm -hmm. Expanded thing. He's gonna sell some. Yes. I just, I just want to see what he's got. Take a look. Books. Okay, so he's got all the Fendrix expanded magic stuff spells but it's a little too easy i like getting the books from you know they're scattered right. about the world so i'm not gonna i don't do the the chests that have all the mod stuff in it so i, I prefer to just find it out out in the wild Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. It seems this yeah. damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Uh, let's see what... What scrolls do I have already? Okay, that's the wrong menu. Okay. Here we go. I guess we got these fast healing... I should probably study. And not before I buy new spells. Me? I prefer my books and my spells. Yeah, me too. I get it. I dig. There's a tranquility in magic, don't you think? It is simply energy to be harnessed by those with the will and knowledge to do so. Yeah, I agree. The tranquility thing. So could you please shut it so I can study? Tranquility, dude. Let's have some. Practice what you preach. So, okay, I'm going to sit here in this early morning wizard's chamber and study. Which do I? Which, is, which makes more sense first? Lesser ward? Yeah, I should have a ward. That's one. Fast healing. Good to have. Two. Mystic wind restores magicka if I sprint. It's not the best thing. Bone spirit. To undead. Okay. Undead hate this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna like it. That's four, right? Three? I, f I lost count. Three. Three hours is enough of study, I think. Let me 
know if you've got... We rest for three hours. Wait. Because we spent time reading. And one book an hour is pretty fast. It's okay. So what have I got? Yeah, I don't do the sky UI thing. Um, for because I'm lazy, but I, I kind of like this old, uh, the old manual vanilla UI. I just like it. What did I get restoration? Okay, so bone spirit. Let's get let's grab that one. Fast healing instead of healing, and less reward. So that was three. Good, good. Those are good. I could have used them in my last fight, I think. I say I think because that was three months ago that I did the previous session. So anyway, okay. So there we are. And we're looking for Preventus. He's, oh, here he comes. Right on cue. That's the guy who gave me the quest. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you? I the Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Oh yeah, he Perhaps looks busy. I can assist you. He looks bored. Look at him. That's him. Not too busy. I think you were told to say that. The bandit leader at Silent Moon's camp is dead. I'm here for the bounty. Did my job. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. And he gives me 100 gold. Pretty light. You reconsidered my idea. Hello, Jarl. Haven't changed my mind that that's what you're asking. Okay. I won't leave white he is busy. Presence, even for a day. Enjoy if your we sent half our guards to aid the legions just for a few days, it could tip the scales in the Empire's favor. The companions can help protect the city, and the Emperor will be in our debt. Have you lost all sense? Hey, hey, Izzy. Lose half our men. Yep, the game in today. Yep. No music, no jazz. Storm will be the least of our yeah, I should go shopping. The That's right. No, I, I need to get rid of some stuff, some sell off some, some garbage on. while they talk about political stuff. How's it going, Izzy, my friend? Good to see you. You're cool. Are you are you streaming today? Tonight? Good. Glad to hear that. Are you doing some streamage today? Tonight? You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Come to chat with an old woman. No, you. No, you're cool. We can, I can do this for hours. Welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. Welcome indeed. No, tomorrow, okay. Oh, I guess I timed it right then. Everything's for sale, my friend. Some okay. may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. You call them treasures, I may call them junk. We'll see. But I've got some treasures for you. Lunar Steel Sword. Yeah. The moons are out. Yeah, it's... I don't know. It's not exactly what I've got in mind. I'm looking for weapons that primarily are injurious to the undead. So we're going to sell these. And I don't really do staffs. So... Ooh, that's a very good price there. Avenging. You know, that may come in handy at some point. I'm going to hold on to that one. It's super powerful. Okay. And not too heavy. You miss gaming? Yeah. What games do you, uh, do you prefer? I think you told me a while ago, but uh, this is Skyrim. This is uh, uh, Elder Scrolls... Number six? No, that... Yeah. Five? Five. 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 Called Skyrim. And it came out 
20 years, no, not 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 2011, almost. And <laughs> yeah, we're going shopping together. And it still holds up. I, I, I think it's, I, I return to this game all the time. It's almost always installed on my computer because if I'm in between projects, if I'm not, you know, if, if I'm kind of running dry on inspiration or whatever, whatever you call it, whatever that is, um, if, I, if I don't know what to do sometimes, I just feel like recharging the batteries in Skyrim. So I play other games too, but Skyrim's kind of my go-to thing. It's, it's, uh, it's like a story, it's like a choose-your-own-adventure book, but it's a game. As my friend said, "Leather boots of courage." I'm pretty courageous as it is, so, and I'm more of a heavy, heavy armor guy. So. Okay, rings and stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with the whole poison thing. Stamina poison. Yeah, I think I'm kind of above poisoning my weapons to get an edge in battle. So. But three seconds of paralysis probably come in handy. Diablo. Oh, right. Yeah, you played Diablo. Resident Evil, Devil May Cry. Excuse me. Racing. Oh, wow. I've never really done the racing games. In GTA, they have mini games and there's a... There's, you, know, you can do a lot of races and stuff, and they always frustrate me because I never finish anywhere but last. I think I'm just bad at racing games, so <laughs> I avoid them. But they look super cool. I just wish I could do it better. Resident Evil. That's a really cool a zombie game, I think. Devil May Cry, I've heard of them, F1, Formula One Racing, yeah, those look amazing, they're looking more and more photorealistic as the years go on, very cool, so, um, yeah, so the weak paralysis poison, I have a feeling I might use that sometime, yeah, I'm always, I'm, I'm terrible at, I'm a good driver in real life, <laughs> But in games, I'm dangerous. Not in a good way. Scroll of Fireball. Magic of Void. Deuces to Hell of Altar. No, this doesn't seem like something he would do. Rain is not super wizard, wizard, wizardly, if that's a word. But do you drive fast in real life? Is he? I mean, obviously not now, but during normal times. I don't need all these cabbages. Okay, well, I'm good on food and stuff. And I'm not really a an alchemist, so I can get rid of some of them. Stuff. Some of those might be good for food. Books. Books. I usually hold on to a couple books just to read when I'm when I'm bored. Because the stories are often very good. Okay. Sounds like you have some experience driving race race cars. In real life, are we still talking? Are we still talking about real life here? Okay. Do come back. This guy is smarmy. 
do come back. But if you notice that guy's voice, if you've played the game, I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's a little joke. He was the the voice actor was the guy from um, uh, uh, Fallout. Discriminating customer, perhaps you're a wealthy one too. Fallout Four, I think. Uh, the one where he, the 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 gum shoe uh, android who becomes your companion in that game. Yeah, everything's for sale, my friend. That's a great character. He's a great character, and he thinks he's human, and and he's the the kind of uh, the the private eye, and he's got the whole you know Sam Spade kind of thing going on, and yeah. That's the same actor. He's so he's in lots of things. He's great. Okay. So what are we doing? Fiat X19. Okay. Now I still I'm not sure if you're talking about an actual race course in real life with real cars or in the game. Just say game or IRL, so I can be sure. <laughs> now, I think Rain is going to be really intrigued by that guy who was talking about the Dawn Guard. Finally, he gets to exact the kind of revenge that he's hungry for. Help a brother um. Yes, in real life. Oh, wow, okay. See, that's, there's, that's huge. That's a very big, important difference. So we're talking about games that, you know, oh, that's, you know, race car driver. But if you actually have driven these things, that's that's um, way more impressive. Wow. How does one become a race car driver? Do you have to own a race car or can you <laughs> rent them? I don't know. Oh good, I hope, yeah, practicing not flipping over. <laughs> Sounds like a, a key skill to master early on in the whole racing world. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. The feel, the roar of the engine. I bet it sounds super fun racing Fiats and the like. Well, I should probably save once in a while. That would be bad, right? If I did. What? No. $2,000 for a Fiat? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. You kid me not about the $2,000 Fiat? Did it, was it, was it a Fiat kit? Was it a $2,000 Fiat kit that you had to put together? Is, are we talking about a matchbox car or an actual car? No, I'm kidding. I know what you're talking about. What, did somebody just not know what it was worth or was it actually worth $2,000? I spent that much on my computer. If I had access to a Fiat for 2000 would not pass it up. I would, I would take up race car driving if I had an offer like that. Hey, Gordon. I got a Fiat I'm willing to sell you for 2000 bucks. Do you, do you race cars? I do now. And it's on. 
Ooh, it's a bandit. Oh. Don't need my help. Salgar the Talsgar the Wanderer. I now name you Talsgar the Bandit Killer and Wanderer. Oh, did you kill this one too? Hello there, fellow traveler. Oh. One night the life oh, goodness. adventure and song is the life for us, eh, friend? And you're a bard. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna I'll, I'll pay attention to your to your chat. Uh, the actual 1986 modded, modded car. What? Nobody wanted it because of you. Bad rap. Psh. The market is dumb. Yeah, it's Algar. Ran that guy through right in front of me before I could even get a strike in. Why don't you sing about something? For a generous fellow traveler. Still squirting blood. What would you like to hear? How about the Dragonborn comes? Ismir's blessing on you. Yeah, there's bl this blood all over the place. Yeah, it's it's not the it's it's not really a kid's game. I think. Yeah, that's a lot of blurred. But don't worry, it's just pixels and stuff. Got a steel mace. I have a steel mace, right? I assume so. Yeah, I have steel mace. It's a superior one. What she got? Iron mace and wine. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I paid for this song. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. <laughs> no, that's okay. For the darkness has passed, and the legend yet grows. I'm enjoying, I'm pretending to enjoy this guy's song because I paid for it. And it's rude to walk away from a busker. Oh, unless the busker walks away from me. Okay, that was good. Clap, 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 clap. I don't know if it was worth 25 gold, but thanks. Off we go. Sorry. Oh, is it really loud? Is is the background music too loud? <laughs> I know what you mean. Sometimes I just turn off the, the the background music and put on my own stuff. Not not my own music, but stuff that I like to hear. Hey, fox! I never kill foxes. Oh, but these guys do. Wolves. He was trying to kill me. Wolf pelt. Do I have... I have a small leather tent. That's, that's good enough. I, I don't need anything more than that. I hoard too much garbage. What was I saying? Yeah, it would be good. Um, yeah, they, they're oblivious to the background music. And they're just going to sing their little hearts out. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what what music I usually put on as a substitute. Cuz I mean, I like music in games, but they after enough hours of playing the game, it becomes repetitive and you and I just I'm bored too easily when it comes to music, so I like new fresh stuff, you know. So, I will uh, but I rarely become bored with this particular soundtrack. Um, Jeremy Soule, I think that's how you say his name, is a superb game composer. And it's a lot of it is what I would consider ambient music. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why I gave him 25 quid. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cheeky AI game music. The guy's trying to sing. Trying to feed his family. And slaughter bandits whenever they happen to come along. Yeah. Yeah, I just listened to Bruckner Third the other day. It's so good. I was for I because I my my wife hadn't really heard Bruckner before. It's not it wasn't part of her kind of record collection. So I thought, oh, let's listen to some Bruckner. And she liked it. And I liked it. Yeah, that's good. The kind of, what, late romantic stuff is good for this kind of game. It fits. And the other day I was playing a game called... Um, Mount and Blade Warband, which is set, I believe, in like the 14 or 1500s. So you put on some Renaissance music and it just fits. Some medieval music, some Palestrina or something like that. It looks great. Oh, yeah, it should be. It's good because it's really great stuff. Right? That's somewhere between... Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. But actually, I, I wasn't... When I was a music student, I did, I did study music formally. I don't know if you know this. Um, but I was really bad in history class. <laughs> I, I retained more about... I studied more about music history and I retained more and I know more since college because in college I was too busy practicing my damn instrument I don't mean that figuratively I mean it actually there was no time for a performance major to study the to memorize the dates of you know Bruckner symphonies and drop the needle tests on you know which which movement of which Haydn string quartet is this yeah, I, could, I had no time for that kind of rote memorization but I'm much better at it now there is a troll incoming so you see him he looks small but he's kind of far away actually quite tall so. oh is he gonna attack those guys oh you know he's gonna attack me I wonder if my battle cry will scare him away. Here we go. Oh, here they come to help! Oh, that's nice. Run away! So look at them. They're providing... Missile support. Look at them. Let them go. No. Oh, he's running away. Yeah, run! that you have a kill. Thanks, boys. Yeah. I had this conversation with a friend last night. We were kind of... He was an art student back in the day in England, and um, he was talking about how useless it is for that age of students to have to memorize the minutia. But he says, as an educator himself, that it's... There, the, he sees the other side of it too. That you have to have something that you can evaluate, and aesthetics, and the fact. It, I mean, if you really absorb, you know, Beethoven's Seventh Symphony, there's 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 not a whole lot of there's no real rubric there. It's, it's hard to make a rubric that evaluates the student's progress, but. 
if they don't know Bach's birth and death years, that you can that you can mark right down in your grade book. Look at all those arrows that went in. I'll take those and a bit of troll fat. That's gross, but I think I could use that. I think you can use troll fat as a as an accelerant in in fires. So I think maybe. Okay. But yeah, I mean I I think you you mentioned this at some point before that when you studied music you, you, we're much better students kind of after we're under the gun but studying it formally gives you a good start and it kind of gives you a good overview and guided a guided uh, tour of what is all out there so it's good to have it's good to have people who are really knowledgeable and understand the whole, the bigger picture of music history and theory and all that. I guess it applies to anything really. To kind of show you which doors are the best to open, or the best direction to go, with, what order, I guess, to. You know what I mean? Because otherwise, if, if you're. If you just have the internet to study from it's just there's everything and nothing prioritizes itself nothing orders it up for you on the internet so you can't just go in blind and just devour everything first of all there's too much out there and if you haven't developed if you don't have a full scope of you know the history of everything then all you get is this sort of superficial course anyway i ramble from one music educator to another. Okay. Oh, you know what? I missed it. The, the When you wander into a little village like this for the first time, it plays this really cool um, pastoral bit of music that just, you know, just plays this, it's kind of like, here you are in the Shire. And it plays this little shire like music it's barely noticeable it's not too too big yeah that was cool and then it goes back to the regular ambient music <laughs> you know it brother we are on our way somewhere okay so let's see how hungry I am because I might need to fill up on water. Yeah, we're good. Good rambles. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's fun to ramble. And Twitch is a very enabling platform upon <laughs> which we can ramble. Kind of gives you carte blanche. You get the mic, right? Everybody needs that for a little bit, at least. That's one thing I like about Twitch. Because otherwise, I'm just going to sit here and bore my wife. <laughs> or just talk to the wall and be a crazy man. Or write it down. And I do all of those things normally. So, to do it on Twitch while gaming. This is this is pretty fun. It's pretty cool. And to have you drop by. It's great. More wolves. You gonna give me trouble or are you gonna let me walk by? Okay, trouble it is. Backhand. Okay, how about Sometimes, okay, I don't need wolf pelts. Do not need these. Sometimes, when you loot animals, there are things like rings and amulets and things. So, 
instead of just accepting that there's a ring on or in this guy, <laughs> in this in this wolf, I, I'm thinking, well, that would have to be something that it killed someone and ate it, and it's in its stomach or something. <laughs> Which, if I'm role-playing, I'm not going to reach in there and, you know, empty its stomach or something. That's gross. Oh, spider. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's tough. Heal time. Oh, this is my new fast healing spell. Boom. Very good. Oh, that's much better. The other healing spell was slowly rejuvenating me. But this is fast healing. Okay. Yeah, spiders. When I say RP, I just mean role-playing, and I do a kind of, as you can see, it's, I'm, I'm mostly just kind of thinking what he's thinking and serve as his conscience. I don't do the hardcore voice acting level, you know, theatrical kind of RP, which is cool if you can do it well, but I can't do it well, so I'll do it this way. This is more my style. But... It means that I set limitations for the character, and I try to metagame as little as possible. Can you eat spider? N not, not in this game. But you can. All right, what have you got? Okay, this looks like a thief or an assassin or somebody. It is an assassin. Tired? Make it a fair fight. Tired yet? <laughs> you are in no position to make demands. Ooh. Okay. Get out of here. Oh. No? Live by the sword, die by the sword. Dark Brotherhood. Dark Brotherhood Assassin's Note. What is this then? As instructed, you are to eliminate rain by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been performed. I have to do this in an evil voice. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We've already received payment for the contract, so failure is not an option. Astrid. Astrid sounds vengeful and evil. Hmm. Well, this... This assassin was not successful. You should send better assassins, Astrid. So I am not impressed. Mm. I assume your oof is from that kill move. Yeah. I'm, da I'm, I'm dangerous, dude. I'm dangerous. <laughs> I'm not a bragging type, but this guy is dangerous. And he's driven. He's got he's got a job to do. Nope. That's a eight point buck there. Do you believe that there are actually games that are hunting games? They're hunting simulator games. What is wrong with people? 
And not, not to be a bleeding heart, you know, animal lover or anything, but I'm a bleeding heart animal lover. <laughs> Who, yeah, I mean, I get... <laughs> no, don't, don't piss ye me off, no. Yeah, I, just, I don't... I used to be an adventurer oh. like you. What, what are you doing? What? What, what's what's the hurry, lady? What you doing? This place is boring. Nothing but the same thing every day. <laughs> I wish I could head to one of the capital cities. Maybe even back to Mornhold. Anywhere but here. I don't know what Mornhold is. Okay, I hope you find your way. One day I hope to become a painter. Well, but at this rate it looks like it's never going to happen. Well, start painting. Don't just complain about it. Just do it. All right, I know I'm kind of all over the place, and I skip. Oh, Sarethi Farm. Is the music gonna happen? Can you imagine how wonderful it would be to set what you see on a canvas, so you'd have that memory forever? Oh. So you do want to talk? Is that it? My sister keeps telling me that the farm keeps us alive, but I don't really. Call oh, you living. live here. Okay, a gun killing animals is not sport. I totally agree. Yep. I have some actually I actually have some friends who hunt and I don't know how that I don't know how that works man uh, yeah exactly I understand that at some point during our evolution, it was necessary to do that, to survive. But we've got these big brains now, and we don't need to do that anymore. In fact, I'm kind of excited that science is coming up. Science and the culinary arts are teaming up, putting their heads together and making very healthy alternatives to live meat. And I'm not, I don't want to sound like a vegetarian, I'm not, but in, in idea, the idea I like, I would love for the world to be more humane. I would love that. And that's all I'm going to say about it before I start sounding like a ridiculous hypocrite. <laughs> okay. Where'd she go? Well, she's over here sulking. Like the brooding artist that she is, or she wants to be. Hey. Hey, Aduri, just wait. What? Don't run away. Aduri, consider body painting. Hey. Oh, she's creeped out. She doesn't want to. She's, she, she must be an introvert. Okay, don't listen to me. Body painting. Yeah. Yeah, most people, I think, are, are pet people in a certain sense. I mean, you're, you, you have Ziggy. So I imagine, you know, you love cats. I love cats. Uh, I particularly love dogs. I've had many, I've had many dog companions in my life, and I am 100%. I did. I scared away. I'm 100% of the mind that dogs are people, and my definition of people is not just human beings, but you need to have a personality to be a person, and. The dogs that I've known, they have personalities. They cringe when you, when something scares them and they respond to you and they genuinely care about you in a normal, in a, in a way that biological mammals do. I don't think there's enough difference between humans and dogs and 
certain animals, most animals, that you that you wouldn't you know describe them as persons, people. Well, something's going on. My spidey senses are tingling. What's going on? Oh, was it? Oh, no. Oh, it is a spider. Appropriate spider senses. Okay. Come on. I do this first person. Okay. Oh. Poisoning me. Ooh. Maybe there's a spell that I can use to... No, not really. Oh! He's really hurting me. Come on. If I do this. Oh, we're, we're almost done here. Okay. Healing time. Is it... <laughs> It was this spider. Um, okay. Oh, I like this new healing spell. Very good. Very useful. All right, what do you got on you? Sprite venom. I'm not really a poisony guy, so I've had other characters that I've used that love poison, make poisons, put them on the blade, and cause all kinds of trouble. Not this guy. Yeah, maybe body paint woman transformed into a spider. <gasps> Ooh. Hello. Corundum. We're gonna do a little mining. So I liked your I liked your Eric Satie the other day. Is that yesterday? Loved it. Awesome. You continue to amaze me with your playing. That's obvious you've been doing some practicing lately. Because you sound great. And it's not easy stuff at all. Yeah, there's a bit of a lag, isn't there? Yeah. Is is that what um Fanny Fen was saying about behind the chat. Is that what you're experiencing now? Okay, I got turned around. Maybe I can take this backpack off. It's kind of chafing my arms. Oh, I, I totally can. And still run. <laughs> I've never been nice. But I promise to do my best to be sweet. Yeah, maybe she was lagging minutes, perhaps. Because she'll... What is it with this? Now there's two of them. Goodness. All right. There must be something we can do. All right, I don't usually do this, but... There's two of them, they're ganging up on me. Alright. What else can I do? I guess we'll just do it the old fashioned way. Bash him over the head with a mace. Oh, yeah, and miss. on one 
Oh, and there's a third. I am getting my butt handed to me here. Yeah, I think I was... I think there's a third. Yep, now there are three of them. I normally when I game I I I'm almost obsessively quick save. I and I quick save way more than I need to every five seconds. I'm like, <laughs> like hitting that quick save button like it like I'm Pavlov's dogs for my pellet. And but when I'm twitching, when I'm streaming I forget. So now I'm all the way back here in White Run. <laughs> okay, let's do a quick test of the lag. Okay, you just typed no. That's my fault. I'm reading this as you as I'm as it's appearing. I'll do your quick test. Type one more thing and I'll let you know just as it comes out. It's not your fault, by the way. It's my own it's my own dumb fault. And I was toying with those spiders too much. I was I, I, I got too confident, so I was kind of toying with them. And then when the third one showed up, I thought, oh no. And their their poison was working on me too. I couldn't painty lady. There we go. Painty lady. <laughs> it's hilarious that that's the thing you thought of to type at that moment. In parentheses. <laughs> what can I type right now? Um, painty lady. <laughs> Palinka. Alright, so I've completely side railed. I'm... I'm, I'm Okay, let's look at a map. Maybe I can avoid some of this garbage. And I'm not going to fast travel, but I can do the normal uh, game. Oh, it's because it's way down here. We are so far. So we, I think we're going to have, the, if we're going to be smart about this, instead of walking across half of Tamria, uh, of Skyrim, to get down here to the lower right hand corner of the map. We should probably take a carriage to Riften and then walk there from there. Because I have to walk around this the huge mountain. I, don't, I normally am patient, but since we did that, I'm not going to walk through all that garbage again. So, And risk getting killed. 47 seconds. Okay, huge lag. That's not great, is it? Why would that be? When I'm, I, I, I noticed that um, when I'm on, when I go visit your stream and I'll type something, it's, it's about, I think it's about that before you notice, before you read it. So. Which is kind of hard for banter. Because you and I have a banter thing. And 40 seconds, 40, 47 seconds is a huge lag. Yeah. So, what I need to do is we are near a major city. So the carriages stop here. And I, do, I never do fast travel because it's that's non-immersive you don't just um, if you're going to do that you should be a wizard and casting a teleportation spell which they exist in this game if you're modding it and my mod does have that but this guy doesn't do that kind of magic so and he's not high enough level but we're going to go to this dude 
in the carriage, and we're gonna get a hop a ride to Riften. Need a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? Riften, if you please, my good man. Here, twenty gold. Climb and back. And we'll Keep be the off. change. All right, so we're gonna hop back here. If you've never been to Riften, and fall asleep. Be sure to visit the Black Briar Mead. You mugs a dad. Yeah, half a world apart. Home. Yeah. But, you know, we're not talking through tin cans with strings, right? <clears throat> yeah. When I, when I talk to, I talked to my parents on the phone yesterday and there's only, you know, using the telephone or being a, or uh, an app like Hangouts. Skype or something. It's only, it's not even a second, I think. Maybe one second. But we're not doing video and all this streaming stuff. Yeah. I like being a mage or a wizard. Yeah, me too. I, I usually play magic builds of some kind, unless I really want to. Unless I'm tired of it. <laughs> no be a meat shield but this guy this guy I'm kind of do, do you know the the backstory of, of this fellow because I can I can lay it out for you because I'm really proud of this backstory I'll wait 46 seconds What? We have a bandit attack in progress. You guys need some help? Oh no, it's not bandit, it's a... This is a full-on war scenario. This is uh... Hold there. Before I let you into Rift, you Those are enemy soldiers of theirs. Before that was an I attack. You Rift, okay, you said no. You need to pay the visitor's tax. Um... Rain for the privilege of entering the city. was a blacksmith. I mean, he wasn't didn't really plan to be an adventure. He was just going to be a homebody, uh, kind of just providing for his family. Um, uh, but uh, okay, as a child, he was kind of forced into being a blacksmith, a blacksmith's apprentice, just uh, because his father died at a very young age, and. So he had to kind of support his mom and sister. And then her her sister died. It, um, and he had to take care of his mother. Uh, so I think it kind of, he was, never could choose his own life. He just kind of had to provide. And being a blacksmith was all he really knew. Um, and then something happened where the a local group of necromancers had kind of exhumed everybody that up in their okay maybe i should i need to take a break for a second and i have a screen that kind of gives a quick a short uh, synopsis of what uh, what his backstory is so i'm gonna do that but i should probably save the game like a smart boy. Okay. Hold there. Before oh, I let okay. you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. Visitor's tax. Oh, I've heard that this before. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? I don't buy it. This is obviously a shakedown. But I'll pay. Okay, normally I, I choose this one because it works. But rain is kind of more lawful. So he's going to complain, but he's going to pay. Because he doesn't want to start any trouble. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Okay. Let me open the gate and you can... Choke on it, this. dude. Guard. Corrupt guard. Okay, okay. So what I was going to do is save. And take my break. I, 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 what I need is more coffee. So 
let's go to Rain's backstory, and I'll be back soon. I'll give you some of my music. I'm sorry if that went more than once I was getting some I was getting coffee but I thought you know I've had two cups already so I got some juice and it's almost nigh on lunchtime but I want to keep going and Misan is painting or she's uh, drawing I don't want to for with lunch request. Oh, well there. I don't I wanna I don't wanna disturb her. Here we are. So what did you think of the backstory? The gate's unlocked. You can head I've forgotten the details red. actually, that's why I couldn't say it earlier. So I, I wrote them down. Take All right. my advice. Don't listen to that talk of the face skull. Oh thank you. I made that a long time ago. That's more than it's more than 10 years old, that, and it's all MIDI, obviously, not very good. I had another run but, um, with a thief's gear. and I, oh, I, no, it's not, not too old. Actually, I made that in 2013 during the Daily Project, the Daily Music Project. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Aaron. Wasn't that old. I know. I don't know you. Don't you and Riften looking for trouble. You're the only good thing that's happened to the city. I'm just country. passing through. Okay, he would yeah. say I'm just well, I got through. news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars Thanks. need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Oh, tough guy, eh? Who are the Black, the Black Briars? Briars? have rifted in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me? Oh. I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. A uh, handful of dirt. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> thanks. 
<laughs> Glad you are. You know what? I I had an idea the other day. Um, I was just kind of listening to my older stuff, so I thought maybe I could do a Twitch stream on just kind of introducing one of my older albums that sound nothing like what I'm doing now. Um, I think I might try that. And it's going to be a lot of humble pie eating um, because uh, it's I, I, I don't make music like that anymore for a reason. And, uh, and it also has me singing on it, which is uh, very cringy. But if, I think if I make it, if I present it with the due amount of humor yeah, that it deserves, <laughs> then... Stay out of the Black Friars business. Did he just call me a little doggy? No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't let I'm that stand. With you. Get out of my way. Oh, phew. all right. You're a jerk. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm talking to this guy here. I'm not talking to you, is he? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it is that guy in Cowboy Bebop. He's got a very generic kind of tough guy voice, right? The kind of forced, you know, this is how I talk normally. I'm just tough that way. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. Okay. This this city is kind of depressing. I should do it, yeah? Um, I think it'd be fun, if not funny. And I'm, well, I, I have... But I have enough confidence in my self that I can. I, I love making fun of myself, <laughs> especially past self. Um, um, yeah, that, that might be fun. Also, maybe a little interesting because there are things that I do like about my old, my older albums. Um, and they, it all has to do with what was going on at the time and what happened before that and the resources that I had available to me, um, the kind of music I was listening to, just the state of my life at the time. It's all very dependent on that, as usual, as with everyone. Yeah, I think it might be fun. Maybe I'll plan that. And I'm not going to just th throw myself into it. I'm going to give it a good listen beforehand and make notes and remember what was going on maybe collect some photographs of the time at the time and you know make it some somewhat interesting to look at and put together an obs scene collection excuse me this guy um <laughs> this is what i want to say i'm sorry what? i'm saying you've got the coin but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly i can tell oh can you now Oh, I am nice to pre I, I I adore previous me. <laughs> previous me is cool. I like previous me. Just fine. Uh, but even... And just as present me doesn't mind making fun of myself presently, uh, past me appreciates being made fun of, too. So I don't do it meanly. I do it lovingly. It's all about sizing up your mark, lad. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Okay, it sounds like you're trying to recruit me into the Thieves Guild, and I'm not that kind of guy. My wealth is none of your business. Your own lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. How about no? I can take a hint, lad. You want to make some coin? Come find me. Okay. He took a hint. Okay, then. Yeah. So, all right. So what we plan to do is not actually go into the city proper. I'm just kind of having a look around. Save. What we want is to kill vampires. So we're going to go to this Dawn Guard place and sign up. Where do I sign?
I will have something to write about. My map says it's this way. Yep, there it is. Take a freaking hint, lad. It kind of sounds like old Sean Connery, like young, uh, sorry, young Sean Connery from the old days. That kind of Scottish, gentlemanly Scottish brogue. Oh! That was a wolf. Oh! Oh my god! Okay. Oh, the tree got in the way. Mm, where's my shield? And my trusty helm. Stop chasing that deer around. Oh. Okay, yeah, deer, I'm here to save you. Yeah, my love for animals uh, stops short at predators. Active predators. Like it's going behind. Hmm. I like the light in this game a lot. It shines through. Yeah, you can actually see the sunbeams moving as you go. Isn't that cool? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful game for for a game this old. take some quick healing potion. Oh lord. Yeah, I'm not I, I'm not a high level character yet. I need to remember that. Okay, that's good. That was a spriggan. And spriggans are kind of Spirits of the wood, kind of. They look like trees and they sound like bees. And they're dangerous. And they heal themselves. Faster than trolls do. I realize how nerdy that sounds when I say it out loud. I'm a big nerd. It's true. Fast healing. So I can heal myself too. Yeah, it looks good. That's one of the things that keeps me coming back to this game, is how it looks. It just looks so nice. And it's not... It's one of those games that doesn't... That doesn't uh, demand a, a fast pace of action. It's not... It's not knuckle... You know, knuckle-biting action all the time which I'm not a knuckle-biting action kind of guy. <laughs> I like to step back and relax once in a while 
and enjoy the scenery. And this game allows you to do stuff like I <laughs> killed Groot. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does look like Groot, doesn't it? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> I can't bear that. Where, where, where is it? I don't know where it is. Oh, Hunter. It killed a Hunter. Okay, that makes sense. The spirit of the wood kills the Hunter in the wood. Okay, yeah. That's an age old story. Bear pelts. Gold that they won't be spending anytime soon. Okay. Salt pile for cooking. Uh, this venison shouldn't go to waste. And... Maybe... This and... A bottle of ale. Okay. Gotta go in the right direction. Okay. I survived that, so I should save. I killed Groot. Oh my gosh. No. Groot. If it was actually Groot, I'd be toast. Corundum. That was not Baby Groot. That was not Baby Groot. Because uh, he would. Baby Groot would have killed me with cuteness. God, what's happening with my hair? My uh, headphones are pushing my hair up into little girly poofs. There's nothing wrong with girly poofs. I'm just not a girl. I'm a girly man. Oh, I hear more Angry wolves. Where are you? Oh, I hear you. There. There you are. Come here, boy. Arr, go away. Oh. Bandits. Looks like bandits. Huh. Well, I hate bandits even more than I hate wolves. So. Close enough. Oh. How's this? Is this closer? Close is better. A bad time to get lost, friend. You picked a bad time to get lost, Lucille. Shoot through trees? Nope. Oh, yeah. It's a tree. Yeah. Are you prepared to die? That's what I was gonna ask you. No, I'm not prepared. Oh, I know. Those cute little Groot eyes. Oh, yeah. Like Baby Yoda. Melted everyone's heart at once. Did you see the Mandalorian? Oh, we talked about this, didn't we? We did. We talked about this already. Somebody was saying that they... I hadn't seen it to a certain point yet. Oh, was it the expanse? Oh, I can't remember what we talked about. Where is this? Huh? Hi. What? Why are you being all aggressive? Never should have come oh. here. Okay, who's shooting at me? Oh, I hear you. Oh, nice shot. He's got 
some nice armor. Maybe I'll take it. Okay. Black Briar Mercenary. Oh, we were just told about that. You have not... Okay, I'm sorry. You have not seen The Mandalorian yet. Okay. But I'm sure you are aware of the phenomenon that is Baby Yoda. It's... Yeah. Oh, I love The Expanse, too. I am about to watch Season 5. I have not seen it yet. But, yeah, I think I think we were talking about it on your stream, in fact, right? Forgot. Okay. I, d I have steel armor. <clears throat> but this guy, I think, has steel plate armor. He does. Okay. I think I'm going to nick it. arrows and your torch okay and there's another guy around here somewhere so in this game there's it's not really cheating if you can't find a body it doesn't give you any markers or pips in the the uh, what compass but you have this thing called instincts and if I select instincts it's kind of like I can smell. Oh, and there, okay, there's the guy, okay. <laughs> it's not really cheating. Yes, Baby Yoda all melty cute, I know. We love Baby Yoda, <clears throat> who actually has a name that I'm not gonna tell you because you haven't seen it yet. I am not a spoiler. Because finding out things like that is what makes the show fun to watch. Okay, so here we go. This guy really needs to... hit the gym because he needs to carry more weight. If I'm not going to have anyone else carrying my stuff, then he's going to have to get better at that. How long have we been doing? Okay. Right. Well, I'm really glad to have you around, Izzy, for this. You are... Yoda. <laughs> Yoda. Yodelette. <laughs> so funny you should say that. As kids, okay, really long story short. As kids, my brother and my cousin and I, when we were, when, you know, in the 70s, when Star Wars and came out and... Yoda was introduced, I think, in 1979 or 80 or something. Um, we loved Yoda, and we kind of a attached ourselves to the whole Yoda thing. And we used to play Star Wars and stuff, and we just had this funny Yoda thing. And we created <laughs> Yoda's whole family, and we named the diff you know, Yoda's brother and his girlfriend and you know his his best friend at school and stuff so so we had yoda yoder um yodo was the bully of the school so yodo they all are, are from that kind of i don't know what yoda's species is but yeah so and yodette was yoda's girlfriend so for you saying that, that's really funny. Oh, here we are. This is a very cool evening icy pass through mountains. I see footprints on the ground. 
Yodet. There was Yodet and his and Yoda's friend was Yoder. And we referred to the Yoda that was in the movie as Yoda Oz because of Frank Oz. Truth is, I'm a little nervous. I've never done anything like this before. I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. Okay. Hey, uh, don't tell Isran I was afraid to meet him by myself. Not the best first impression for a new vampire hunter, I guess. Yeah. Hey, Isran. <laughs> this guy was totally scared to meet you without me holding his hand. You should seriously consider rejecting him for vampire hunter school. <laughs> and such a creepy night. You've probably killed lots of vampires, huh? I'm sure Isran will sign you right up. I'm not sure he'll take me. Actually, I've never seen a vampire in this game. In this playthrough, anyway. Hold on, please. Wow. Bigger than I expected. It's almost lunchtime. Um, I'm going to go help her out with lunch and maybe this would be a good time to say adieu to you and izzy thank you so much for coming you're my brother and i yeah great great to have you here um it's a little not what we're used to doing the whole gaming thing but it's fun it's just hanging out all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna save this dawn guard thing for next time it's a good place to stop. So I'm going to create a new save. This will be save 17. I'm gonna write that down. And that's gonna do it. So I thank you kindly for your being here. Yep, thanks. Did it. Save. And it's been great, and I will see you tomorrow on your next stream. So, thanks. Lunch. Yeah, I will. I always do. So, take care. Have a good evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.